Hello, it's Becca. So today I'm going to try a brand new technique to me. I am going to be doing a string pull. And I am just using some yarn that I have on hand. I'm going to do a white base and then I wanted to do some really light, almost pastel-y colors. So I am using the Arteza Pouring Acrylic Colors. And the colors that I am using is Pastel Yellow, Carnation Pink, Lavender, and coral. And then I do have a white to put down as a base. And the white is um, the Liquitex Gloss medium and varnish and white titanium white acrylic paint. This is now covered. Uh, and I am missing supplies, so I will be right back. I am back. I'm just gonna pop the air bubbles in the paint right now because there are a few. Okay. So now, on to the interesting part. Because again, I haven't done this before. try not to get too much paint on my hands. I'm just going to put the string in the paint, leave a little bit hanging out so I can grab it. I'm hoping with these pastel -y colors, it'll look and feel kind of springtime because I am in a part of the States that gets very, very cold and I would like it to be springtime already. Okay, so I have my first set of strings in the paint. I'm 
Now, what color do I want to start with? Maybe I'll start with this coral. of truth. So I'm just going to loop it around. Do one string at a time or two? Mm. Not sure. Oh, yeah. I am working on an eight by ten canvas, kind of small canvas, just so then I can. Just experiment and play. Maybe I'll have this one going. This way. Okay, so I'm going to pull these nice and straight. Oh, look at that! keep almost forgetting to uh, wipe off my uh, tool here. I don't really want to mix colors right off the bat. And I'll probably try layering also. Let's pull this one. Okay. Pull this and see how this mixes. Ooh, that's subtle. All right. Now I 
have another set of strings so I can layer up some. practicing and learning new techniques. Oh, goodness gracious. Somehow I am missing one of my strings. So I need to make a new one really quick. All right, and I now have the next string. Okay, now, how do I want to layer this? Pull it kind of off of the corner. That could be really fun. Oops. that way Have pink Pull that pink off that way and then I'll probably try to put another yellow here once I pull these two. Okay, so now I'm going to pull. Oh man, that's so pretty. This one. And I'm going to pull 
this one. And last but not least, I make sure that my gloves don't put too much paint onto this. So cool. I'm just trying to decide if I want to try adding more like dominant thing here and I don't want to get too many colors there. So I think I'm going to not touch it. I might torch it because I think there's a couple air bubbles. I just don't want to burn the paint. Okay. I hope that this dries really nice. I hope that it dries well. Alright. I will take you down and show you a close-up. Okay, so here is the close-up of the string pull. I think it turned out really nice and I really like the soft pastel-y colors. Definitely reminds me of springtime and I really like how that yellow and purple went. Like I really like that. So hopefully it dries nice and I will show you the dried result coming up. Okay so here is the dry result of the string pull. I love how it turned out and the glossiness is from the Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish. That's what I mix the white paint with. So I look forward to trying more of these in the future because I really like how this turned out. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!